Hi, good day. I'm Winsler Edwards, a face behind the name Eddie's Hand Painted Things. For today's blog, I decided I'll just do like a behind the scenes, um, bird's eye view of what I do when I do my hand painted stemware. And also, it would be a great opportunity for the DIY brides to really get a chance to try their hands at doing stemware on their own. So basically all you need, you need to have a glass of course and any enamel paint. Um, I'm using for this project a number 8 brush and a number 2 script liner. Some other additional items you need is um, rubber alcohol. Basically you need the alcohol for cleaning the glass and make sure you remove any smudge or any grease, anything that may be on the glass so you have a nice clean surface to work with. Um, napkin for your paint and um, I'm using a tub with water basically just to clean your brushes to moisten them um, and I also have a palette you can use a paper plate and you know just any little um, plastic bowl container for your water okay so we're going to begin with a very simple flower I thought I'd use something very simple that's basically elementary stage to what I do and it would be easy for everyone to try. Okay, so to begin with, I the method of paint that I use, um, painting style, is the one stroke method where I blend, shade, and highlight all in one stroke. So we're going to begin with leaves for the daisy that I'm doing today. First of all, you're going to dampen your brush in the water. Take off the excess. You don't want to have it too wet because you don't want to, the paint to be runny. That would affect the durability of the paint on the glass. Okay, so I'm going to dip one end of my brush into, I have two shades of green, uh, pretty one light, one semi-light. And then I'm going to blend the paint in the palette. And I'm blending the paint so that the paint will be almost right up to the ferrule of the brush. Okay, so I do that again, making sure that the paint is totally absorbed into the brush. That is a key ingredient in the method that I use. The paint has to be totally blended into the brush. So I have two different paints here, and I'm blending them together so that I will get the blending highlighting all in one stroke. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to be doing a one stroke leaf, which is pretty simple. Um, um, okay, as I do this, I'm always, you always want to have as much paint as possible on the brush always want to have as much paint and you always want to blend. I'm going to go over that leaf again. If you make a mistake, an error, or anything on the glass, you can always just paint over it as long as the paint hasn't dried already. Alright, I'm going to stand the brush right on the edge. This is called the edge of the brush or the chisel of the brush. And then I slide down and make a simple little curve and then bring it back up to the tip again. Alright, going for more paint. I'm going to make the stem immediately right through the leaf. Okay, here we're going to do a second leaf. Once again on the chisel, then slide in to the tip. Adding the leaf also right away. The stem, sorry, right through the leaf. Here I'm doing a third leaf. And add in the stem right through the leaf. Okay, so here's what we've done so far. We've added three leaves, basically called one stroke leaves. And all I did was simply making sure that I had the paint on the brush on both ends, blending it in, and then standing right on the 
chisel edge of the brush, I lean and then slide right back up. Okay, then I come in again and I do a stem in the leaf. So those are the three leaves. We're now going to be adding the flower, which is going to be a daisy. Taking out the excess water out of the brush. I'm going to be using the white now. This is Wicker White and Magenta. And once again, if you notice, I dipped the white on one edge and then the pink on the other and I'm now going to blend it on my palette. Once again, I want to make sure that this paint is thoroughly blended into the brush. Very, very, very important when you're using this method so that you can blend, shade and highlight all in one stroke. Okay, so we're going to start with our daisy, and I chose this because I thought this was pretty simple, and all you have to do is basically stand again on the chisel edge, using the chisel edge of the brush, and you're going to um, you're going to stroke down, just a simple stroke coming straight down, leading with the pink at the bottom, the white is at the top, pink at the bottom. Always take fresh paint. Now, I'm going to do, what you're doing basically is just like a stroke, like a clock. And I'm going to do the other side using, doing the strokes all around, just like a clock. Starting off like a cross, more or less. Always taking fresh paint as you go. Now I'm going in between the strokes that I just made on both sides. Okay, and that's the forming of a daisy right there. All right, so we go, and that's a front view of the daisy. It's not quite finished because we still have to add the middle, but that's what it looks like. And I'm going to do a side view of the daisy, just three little strokes, just to get a side view here. So once again, it's, it's leaning straight down, down, down. Doing one on the opposite end, also side view. One, two, three strokes. Alrighty, so that's what we have so far. We have our daisy and two side views of the daisy and the leaves in the back. Okay, now I'm going to add the center for the daisy. Pretty simple method I'm going to use just the tip of the, the bottom tip of the brush. You could also use a scruffy brush, which basically, sorry, I'm using the wrong color. I want to get the yellow ochre. So I dip the tip of the brush into the yellow ochre, and I just pounce the center like that, going all around. You can use a scruffy brush, which gives you a little more definition, but because I'm using, I want it to be as simple as possible today, I'm just going to use the tip of the brush. Okay, to add some definition to this, I'm going to dip the end of the brush again into maple syrup, and I'm just going to come along the base of that color we added previously, which was the yellow ochre, to give it some definition, some depth. Okay, so that's our daisy, and I'm going to wash the brush out again.